Welcome to Emotional Intelligence Simplified. This is a weekly podcast focused on demystifying and discussing what emotional intelligence is. Welcome to EI Simplified and a happy new year from us. I am Angela Mwehaki. And I am Vicky Karuga. Happy to be here, Angela. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. And what a year it's been. Well, the first three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, the new year, the new year, three weeks done. But looking at today, of course, we're taking a look back in memory time mm-hmm. uh, from last year. Yeah. What are some of the highlights we've had yeah. and what and what to expect in this new year? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And uh, I remember when I was uh, reflecting, I decided me, I'm not a professional in this. So I have a few things. I'm, Notes I've we wrote down, down yeah. yeah. So great. Good to be here. Let's take this trip down memory lane. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what are some of the interesting ones? I think one of the nice ones that we had was uh, with uh, Francis Kathambana. Mm-hmm. And we did uh, two, two episodes on thriving couples using mm-hmm. EI. Mm-hmm. People really seem to really like those yeah, ones. Yeah, that had quite a bit of downloads, I think. I think it also points to the, to the way that uh, there's really not enough information out there about how couples can thrive. And uh, I know personally, from my own uh, uh, personal journey, EI has been a huge help in my household. Uh, from uh, zero to almost hero. <laughs> I like that. I remember yeah. some of the things guys were finding hilarious when he was saying, oh, you guys should always uh, make sure you spend enough time together, sleep on the same bed, mm-hmm. make sure you touch even if you're angry. <laughs> and my guys are like, what? <laughs> so I know some of those things guys kept saying, what are they saying? Mm. So that mm-hmm. was a good one. And mm-hmm. I'm like that from zero to hero. Almost, almost hero. So it's almost an area we need hero. to look at more. I think people I have been putting so. living EI yes. in the office a lot. Yes, yeah. So yeah, from that and the questions that we got, I think that's an area that we can explore further. And not just even in uh, thriving couples. I am seeing that there's an avenue more towards also parenting. I don't know what our viewers think and uh, or our listeners. Perhaps you could also give us insights as to what, what do you want to hear in this new year. Um, but I'm feeling and sensing that that yeah because like we did we did a a short one on parenting yes that was very insightful yes it was at least we learned a lot he does so definitely all the areas you feel you'd like us to look into more Mm. family whether it is being single bringing up children whatever the situation let us know how we can um, look on look into those and on that note actually uh, profiles is going to roll out uh, a series of uh, sessions on parenting parenting with ei so that's that's a good thing to also look out for. Um, again, coming from the comments that we've got and uh, from the requests that we've, that we've gotten. What else? Do you and remember? I think even that will cover the different ages because it it changes as you know from yeah. infants to yeah. It's very different. I think they said they have you have a two year gap between the changes in children. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a. Professional. And also, is it between eight and twelve? You need to make sure you everything has been. <laughs> You're the parent, yeah. So I'll not even pretend. Uh, what else stood out for you? Um, there's one we had with mm-hmm. a friend of mine called Alex Gabriel, mm-hmm. and it was called Rebuilding Lives After Divorce for Men. And mm-hmm. it was very insightful because, well, I guess because I'm not a man, <laughs> I didn't know that men are also ostracized. Mm-hmm. That people really, don't. Yeah, yeah he yeah. told us, you know, suddenly even your friends don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Because the same thing women do, oh, my wife says if we hang out with you, yeah. you're a bad influence. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, having to yeah. find yourself. And I think what was most insightful for me was him talking about how he's had to sit back and, and look at his life mm. and see what could have been the problem. Mm-hmm. What did he contribute to the situation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and what he needs to do to change. Yeah. And we'll definitely bring him back because since then he's gone and done other courses mm-hmm. and he's telling me, I'm ready to date, but I still need a little more time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. And he still believes in the institution of marriage. Mm-hmm. So that was interesting. So that was a very good one to to be able to see things from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was an interesting. I don't think well, that is one that I didn't quite catch. I think for me, the one that stood out was uh, the one about EI and youth. Yes. Well, yeah. About how parents and educators can also nurture it. Um, and really understanding that the environment that we create, especially because um, I, I, I sometimes think as a as a fraternity, uh, educators haven't moved from the fact that they are also responsible um, for the atmosphere that they create for yes. learners to engage in. The pressure. Yes, 
and we are constantly putting the owners on the other side for the learners to engage back in situations um, that are sometimes very difficult and hence the big discussion around mental health in schools and universities and we need to take a step back. The, the old ways are not working anymore. No, they're not. I can give you an example. Um, my profession, architecture, used to have about 20 students um, every year. Now we have about 160 students Ooh, every year. Those are too many. Those are very many, but the methodology is still, it's still the, same. the same. So we are not even, uh, we are still using the same number of students. We're still using the same ways. Um, we are not even really listening to the to, to the learners themselves. And I think in, in, in most developed countries, uh, it has moved to be learner-centric. Learning now should be learner-centric because we have discovered that learners have different ways of learning. And even speeds of learning. And speeds of learning. Mm. And it doesn't mean because you're, you're more deliberate that you cannot get the concepts right. So uh, for me, that was a really Yeah, Mukami interesting really one. helped us understand like the pressure. Yes. Especially like when you're abroad. Yes. There's this pressure. You're trying to be the good student. You're trying yeah. to do this. Yeah. You're still trying to fit into society. Yeah. And I like how she said, I wish EI was taught from like primary school. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then you learn to assess, to cope, to, to feel better. Because mm. like it would have helped a lot with the peer pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wanting yeah. to be long, in self awareness, wanting to be cool. Yes, there's so many why. things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that really helps. Yeah, actually, that's interesting. So you end up trying to cope and do all these things, but the reality And then is you're still a young person. And you're a young person. So you're thinking it's unique to you, but it happens all the time and there's a method through the madness. <laughs> I think that's, okay. that was also a very good one. Mm -hmm. And then we also had uh, Damaris Lilech with, you know, the role of self-awareness and empathy in leading effective teams. Mm. That was really nice. Now I look at leadership now trying to understand your people. It's not you just meeting the KPIs and the targets, but do I know my team? Yeah. I think for me, uh, what also stood out is um, in, in the art of um, like deep listening and I, and, and, this is something I also shared in on social media. Um, what I feel empathy drives is the ability to understand what people are paying attention to. For me, in, mm -hmm. in fact, in teams. So um, not for me, and I've also been reading about it. You know, like the way um, people are focused on a salary. Yes. And you, you're trying to sell um, cost cutting. So if you're not listening to them, and noticing that their attention is on something else, when you're trying to communicate cost cutting, they it, will not hear you. They, they're not really hearing you. Um, and I think, for example, uh, you could be communicating something about uh, releasing a certain product, and people are paying attention to Taxmenistan, or people are paying attention to something that happened uh, at work to a colleague. So listening helps you to also know when are we, when am I delivering this message to whom and how. And what are they really paying attention to? So that I you're think not that's the catch. Can yeah. you get to know what they're paying attention yeah. to? Yeah. So that you can address that. And once you address that, then you'll be able to put your message across. Mm. Yeah. And not many leaders do that. It's yeah. Well, it takes time. I think. I think you don't know. The that's thing what is, I'm thinking. Because yeah, yeah, how do you even get to to really know what they what they're thinking about? Especially if you're not that close. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the other thing is if you have teams and you're not leading with empathy, then you're not also facilitating meaningful conversations, mm. meaning sometimes that conflict can uh, can result in social conflict, attack of personalities and things like that. And you're not getting the feedback you know. Yeah. And we've seen in our day-to-day -day how significant processes, significant uh, ideas, or even just something that's very serious can be derailed by the, by the people. You know, you're just thinking we're doing this thing and then, you know, you just say something without empathy and the whole crowd goes against you and suddenly something that needs to be done doesn't get done. It won't that was in the, in the, for the good of everyone. So it's all lost. Happens a lot, I think. And I it think, does. Yeah. And especially like in this season, we're seeing a lot of people, when you feel we're not heard, will resist or desist mm. just because. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that's, that was an interesting one. Okay, what are some of the things that you remember that happened that were bloopers? I, I can't remember any apart from arriving late. <laughs> no, we've, we've, we've had our times at the, be at the beginning. Yeah. We would over talk. We didn't know. We would forget and start nodding at each other. <laughs> Remember. We get so deep and involved in the conversation. We get into the conversation, we forget the guys are looking at us like, 
time. Yeah. As kids, yes. I'm, ah, this story is so yes. nice. Let's just continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about us having a story. We, we, we would lose direction. Now. I think that, that happened, especially like the first few. I mean, mine was the mic, learning to speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we turn. Yes. Because so the mic is turning, on the wrong yeah, side, so we're turning turning, to look yeah, at you. Yeah, so yeah. the sound is off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a big one for me was winning the award. Oh, that was the best. Where were you when you had? I was, I was at home. Okay. I remember we applied. I think what was amazing for me was when we got nominated. Yeah. And then we sent it to all and sundry. Yes. Yeah. Eh? Like high school vote, group, vote, primo vote, vote. groups, gym, <laughs> where Facebook, relas, Facebook, Facebook. everybody yes. were like vote. So I met a cousin of mine who just came back from Ireland and she's telling me, yeah, we had to vote. I <laughs> like Tutu and Vicky. I was in school and then another cousin of mine was, was with you in, in, in Gandu. Bunny. Bunny, yes. Yeah. She's yeah, like, yeah. Allah. Yes, Bernadette. I sent it to the school. To I sent it. I was like, whoa. Yes. The Valley Road girls did their thing. Yeah. It was amazing. It was, yeah. I was at home. I, remember, I, I just thing. remembered and I clocked on. I just mm-hmm. jumped up. We won. <laughs> you were in the supermarket. I was in son? the supermarket <laughs> with my son. And he kept saying, shh, embarrassing all of us. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That was a moment. Yani you, you, could, you had to embarrass the wealth family. Was shopping. Yeah, it was just that. It was serious. It's the whole continent. Had to happen. Yeah, so no, yeah, a was, big thank you was, so, so much. Yeah, thank you so, so much for voting for us, um, validating the work that we're doing in education. And that's why we're here again trying to figure out what can we do to make this uh, podcast more relevant, more interesting, have uh, um, perspectives and new ideas uh, that can help us both in the workplace and at home. And in life, because it's... EI is an integral. It's no longer a soft skill. It's an essential. It's something you need across across the board in life. Yeah. So that was that was really 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 good for us. Good. So what are we doing next? What are we looking forward to? Um, I think for me, I think I put down some some ideas. Um, I think uh, there seemed to be a real demand for exploration of emotional intelligence in. Um, in the realm of not just for the workplace, which I think we centered a lot on in the last uh, year, yeah. but also in other areas of life. So I, 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 I th- my, the vision that I have is that within the next coming years, we'll be picking up on personalities who we think embody um, what emotional intelligence is all about and having real meaningful interviews uh, and, of course, soul-searching interviews with them. Um, just sometimes so that you can pick one or two things that they have learned and perhaps that they practice that has moved the needle for them when it comes to emotional intelligence. And, of course, with people like that, it's easy to relate. It's sometimes easy to relate. you need to see people yeah. you've heard of. And, and also, yeah. we'll also try and think of more immersive ways where we can have some of our audience, you come and sit with us and we have a little dialogue or yes, debate yes. on EI. Around so the topic start thinking, of EI. Yeah. Actually, that's a very good idea. I hadn't thought of that. Because I think it would be nice to like sit and like have a, a session with a group of people and we share. A little kind of talk show with yeah, the people Yeah, we're talking and board. sharing our thoughts, our yeah. feelings. Yeah. Oh, and like wow. we said, more relatable things. I know more we have a, a, a finance consultant come talk about EI and managing mm-hmm. finances. Mm-hmm. So it's not just at work. How you do? How are you investing? How are you saving? Yeah. So yeah, we look at all areas, even maybe <laughs> exercise and recreation, <laughs> nutrition. We shall not go to recreation. Shall we go to recreation? Perhaps maybe sports. Maybe maybe sports. Sports. Yeah, maybe sports. Um, I don't know. I'm curious. I don't know what our listeners think. What do you what do you think they would want to hear more? That's what they of? need to tell us because we're open. Yeah, we're open. Nothing is impossible. I think I like that challenge. Of you're open for anything. We're open. Let's hear it out and see. Let's think it through. Also, what we also want to do all, uh, is is invite people from Genos Pan Africa. I, yes. I mean, I personally think we should do that. Have a few people speaking, not just from uh, Kenya, but uh, from East Africa, from our across the continent. In I'm looking forward yes. to yeah, that. Yeah, It'd yeah. be nice to hear Actually, how the rest of Africa looks at it. At EI, yeah, yeah, and then host some of those conversations. That would be interesting. Hmm? And even look at EI. There's some. I, I was. I. 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 You were having a conversation, and I used dropped a bit. Well, I was in the same space as you, and I just thought, let's look at EI versus some of our values and thoughts, because mm-hmm. sometimes our traditional values and culture mm. affect how we use EI. Yeah, and I'm wondering, do you think we should explore contemporary issues? I'm not sure. Maybe that's something we should ask viewership. Do you think this podcast should explore? Con- 
uh, some of the things that we are going through maybe as a nation, as a continent, and uh, debate around those and see perhaps how can we, we look at those from the lens of AI? What do you think? I think so, because whether it is politics, it is the leaders you're picking, it, everything, all actions have consequences. Yeah. And we are where we are because of the things we've done, yes. thought, or said. Yes. So maybe if we added an AI element, mm. we would have another lens to view things through. Yeah. Mm. And I know we have one of our practitioners, Cecily Karaoke, and she's coming on board, who is very keen to discuss in terms of how um, can we equip our political leaders um, with the skill of EI. And I think, and I'm saying this very nicely, it is needed at that level. It's very essential. It's essential. Yeah. It's crucial. Yeah. It's very because yeah, we but, need people need to start. We need to change how how we how we're changing this country and this continent as mm, a whole. Yeah. What are we doing, and what's our driving force? Mm. And especially with, like we said, most of this, co the continent is young. Yeah. And very young people young. have a very, very different way of seeing things. Yes. So if this is a good time to get, you know, involved and see what are their thoughts on politics, yeah. on finance, yeah. on, you know, across the board, yeah. family, whatever. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Good. So we have interesting things happening. <laughs> yes, we do. And um, I, I, I can't think of anything else that um, I want to share at this particular point, perhaps, maybe for you. No, but, but you know, we need, still need to get you back here to clear out all the elements of EI mm -hmm. and we see how to make them more fun. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to hear, somebody said we need to hear from more younger people. Mukami really yes, created an impact. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So if you're listening and you're out there and uh, you're between the ages of 25 and 35, yeah, that's, we call, that is youth. Please reach out to us. Uh, we would love to have you on the podcast. And even a debate among young people to hear what are their thoughts. What are their thoughts? Because, you know, she EI. challenged us when she said, I mean, for me, I'll complain about the environment, but man, this thing makes them sick. They yes. panic, climatic change, yes. whatever truly, yeah. truly worries them. That's what they're, they're paying attention to. Yeah. Because yes. you're telling me, you know, when we think about now, like the drought now, the floods are happening. Yeah. It's a big thing for them. It's a big yeah, I'm thing thinking for it them. has happened throughout, Climate but change and all these things, because it's affecting yeah. their future. Sustainability is a big thing. So yeah. you see, those are still, yeah, comes in. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think it's a, with the same breath that sometimes um, people of a certain generation don't take mental health as seriously. Yes. And uh, it is a real issue. And especially for the younger generation who have now come to understand it and learn that um, the exigencies or whatever we're going through life has a significant impact on how we're showing up. And I know, you know, like my daughter tells me, no, you, you guys have mental issues and you don't know. You just keep cutting them every." <laughs> Because <laughs> I guess for us that was we never an that. issue. Yeah, you see, we that, then they can tell you they're tired, or they actually, yeah, I think that's an area we need to understand the young and this mm. mental thing. Yeah, because I can't remember which interview we did, and um, she was a, she's a consultant. I was talking about how having a professor who had taught computers mm. was now the chief consultant dealing with young. Young people yes. were coming with earrings and locks, yeah. and it bothered him. He was more concerned about the packaging, the, yeah, than the, 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 content. the individual, yes. Yeah. And then you know yeah. these guys are saying they want a place where they can play and they want a place where they can park their bikes. So I like how they look after themselves and they know what they want. You know, people complain about Gen Z. Oh, if you don't give them internet, if you don't give them what they walk out, yeah, and they just tell you, I can't hack, yeah, I can't hack. <laughs> So maybe we need to start learning about that. What is yeah. good for us? Are you sticking in a toxic place because of just the salary? Mm. Is that so? Yeah, I think mm. we need to explore that issue of mental wellness so that we know what what works, what doesn't work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So overall, like, it's been a great experience over the last one year. I think I can start by saying when we started recording this podcast, it was way in some. You know, I think it was a room and we're just putting two mics together and then <laughs> and we're like, let's do Stick this. And yeah. And we just decided, let's just start. So getting here has been, I mean, one of those things you say when, when people tell you just start where you are, literally just start where you are and every single day keep pushing, moving. That's that's the journey of this podcast. And I'm hoping that by the end of 2024, we're having more things, more positive things. More uh, amazing more in, things yes. related to EI and maybe other ways to disseminate and engage. Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah there's more than just a podcast. Yeah. And of course, if there are any expectations or things you think we could do more with EI, you, you need to let us know. 
you need to let us know. So mm-hmm. um, this from me is an invitation to follow us uh, on our social media pages. We are on LinkedIn as Profiles International. We are on uh, Twitter as Profiles International East Africa. We are on uh, Facebook. We are on uh, which other one? We are on X. all of them, actually. Oh, it's called X. Yes, it's called oh, You X. know, by that one, pass me. In fact, <laughs> I normally look for the icon on my phone and I'm like, where's Twitter? Where's Twitter? <laughs> A.K.A. now X. Huh? Face Twitter. So, yeah. So, we follow us on our social media pages. We always post um, this podcast, I think, I believe every Thursday. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Um, mm-hmm. There's a new episode out every week. We are on Spotify. We are on uh, Google Play. We are on Apple. We are on, uh, what's that other one? We're everywhere. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. And, and uh, there's always a link where you can listen in and listen to all the amazing speakers that we have had come on board. Uh, and even ourselves as we explore the topics of EI and uh, you know how those have uh, have panned out in our lives. I yeah, mean, and the, the lessons, lessons we're learning are. through EI. And the lessons that we're learning through EI. So please do follow us on our socials. Please do share this podcast with all your friends and uh, and relatives Everyone, um, let them listening. Our hashtag and our brand promise is um, to change culture or to mold cultures. And uh, it is through things like podcasts, uh, what we share on our socials, that uh, we believe we will change the narratives that we are hearing, whether it's to do with leadership, whether it's to do with parenting, whether it's to do with just teaching, um, a day at a time, a life at a time. And for us, that will have made a dif- big difference. So that is our promise. And of course, I guess, uh, when do you stop saying Happy New Year? <laughs> we're still well, in January. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year to all of you. Yeah, Happy New Year to all of you. Good tidings. Wishing you all the magic 2024 has. I think we ha- we need magic. Uh, we do, and we have to create the magic. And we have to create the magic. So let's create the magic. Um, Miss Podcast, what are your last words? Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Absolutely. So keep it locked. Make sure every Thursday you tune in for a new episode. This is EI Simplified. I'm Angela Mwehaki. And this is Vicky Karuga signing out. See you in 2024. Welcome to Emotional Intelligence Simplified. This is a weekly podcast focused on demystifying and discussing what emotional intelligence is. 